So this is the watercolor texture pack and I really wanted to focus on the way that watercolor looks through different textures. So craft paper or canvas. There's a variety of brush strokes in this pack as well as quite a few different colorations which you can pull into your artwork just to make that significant difference. So I'll pull you over and show you what we can do with these textures. For this image, we have a gentleman who's looking through a pane of glass with a neon sign. And what I wanted to do was just to really create that artistic feel around the highlights of the sign and create a little bit of distortion. So this is the texture that we used, which is wet edge. And then what I've done is changed my blending mode to pin light and lowered my opacity. And I just put a little bit of a mask on it because I didn't like the way that the watercolor texture looked on his face. That's the nice thing about this is that you can put a mask over top to get rid of elements that you don't like and use different opacity brushes. So I'll show you the image before we use the texture as well. So as you can see, all it's doing is just creating a bit more of a painted feel. And then we'll go into our next image, which is a little more intricate. So for this image, we've actually used three textures. We have used wet edge, splatter, and dry wash. So I've used all of those textures using different blend modes. So pin light, soft light, and hard light, and then masked those all off according to what I wanted the final image to look like. So this image, I just wanted it to look like it was part of the background. The original image that we have, there's no texture in the background at all. So using those elements to create some interest, playing with your blending modes, playing with your masking, playing with your opacities, all these elements just help to create an artistic final product depending on what you're looking for. With these textures, we've pulled some color in, we've pulled some different elements into the image that weren't there before. I hope that you take these elements and create something really beautiful, use it to be creative, use it to be artistic. There's so many options in here. Play with your blending modes, play with your masks, and when you found something that you love, come into the Facebook community and show us.